Hi everyone, it's me Darlene with a very weak wave. I am sitting here killing time because I have a sale in about 45 minutes. I have to like get really ready for it in about 30 minutes. That doesn't give me enough time to start something else elsewhere and my head is just not in a good place for doing other things right now. So I thought I would just hop on and tell you just once again how stressed out I am. Here's what I go through every single night. I go to bed trying to think how I am going to tell you guys that I'm not moving, that I've changed my mind, and how am I going to continue to live here in this house. And I go through that and go through that, and then I'm like, you know, it's okay to change my mind. They'll understand. No, they won't understand. They'll understand. No, they won't understand. But then it always falls back to, you can't stay here, Darlene. <laughs> you have to leave. And I have no interest in selling this house and getting an apartment in Sanford. I can't think of anything that would depress me more than that. To always see the same street that I always turned on to, to come to my house. Now, so I have to move, and I just don't want to. I cannot believe my life has, you know, come to this, where I have to do something that I just don't want to do, that I feel like I'm going to hate. I'm already nervous about so many things, and now that I have set a date that I want to move in September, it's like it's all going to fall apart. That's how I feel. I feel like it's all going to fall apart. So what I'm facing is I there are very few choices for apartments where I'm going, and I would like to be in the same complex as my son. And I call them, I've called them often to ask questions throughout the year. And yeah, they have one apartment available for August 14, which I could take. But what I hate is the rates go up and down. You just never know. I would be paying the same as my son is paying, but I'm in a. it would be a one-bedroom, and my son has a two-bedroom, both on the first floor. So I hate that. And then I also hate that I don't think I can commit to a one-bedroom apartment because I'm so up in the air with what is going to happen with my mother. So there's no two bedrooms available on the first floor. And I have to have the first floor because of my packages. I have a lot of packages. I will not be able to leave packages outside my door at an apartment complex because anybody walking by could just take them. So I am going to have to make the trip to the post office every day myself unless I have the carrier knock and I could give the packages but I don't want to be in the house all day waiting even though I never really want to go out I don't want to be forced to have to wait for that if I want to pop on over to Derek's or I want to go in the pool or whatever I want to be able to do those things so I need to go to the post office daily and I'm not um, you know lugging all these packages that I have, uh, you know, even with, um, like, I, I have a dolly right now, but even if I bought, like, one of those grocery cart things that I just got rid of, I'm not doing that up and down the stairs and banging that around. So I need a first floor. Oh, yeah, and then the other thing, obviously, if by any chance my mother ends up staying with me, she has to have a first floor. There are no elevators in these places, so it has to be first floor. And I don't know if I should take this very expensive one bedroom on the first floor for August 14 or if I should just take my chances and wait. I think I have to wait. So now I'm afraid that my September date is just going to fall through the cracks because who knows when a two bedroom will be available on the first floor. I just don't know. So I kind of regret that I said September. I have looked at a few other places. But it's like, I just, you know, would like to be right in the same complex as Derek and Skylar. You know, if I'm going to make this move, I would like it to be where I'm comfortable, you know, and where it's easy for me to just, you know, say, hey, Skylar, I'm going in the pool. You want to go too? You know what I mean? It's just, we're there. We'd be there together. Not forever, because Derek doesn't plan on living there forever, but I would like to start out there. So uh, now I made some phone calls 
about care for my mother, the particular agency that I called, they don't deal with like insurances or state programs, things like that. But I did get some more education on, um, you know, in-home care, which is expensive. They said it could be maybe as low as 4000 per month, but I am looking more at the amount of hours that I want, like eight to 9000 per month for in-home care. And, uh, and it has to be four-hour shifts. So, you know, if I wanted somebody in the morning and then in the afternoon, it still has to be four hours, four hours. And, you know, I, that's still eight hours per day. I want it seven days per week, but I want more than that. I want somebody to be with her from, like, when she wakes up until she's in bed. I don't want to do anything. I don't want any part of it. I've done it for many, many years, so I would be looking at, you know, in excess of 10000 per month, assuming it's, you know, private pay. So I would have to be looking now at some other programs for her. And then he did a... Um, talk about a couple of assisted livings that are heavy assisted living meaning they do more than other assisted living uh, probably I was gonna say probably not as much as a nursing home but I've learned that nursing homes don't do a whole hell of a lot she doesn't get anywhere near the care that she had with me even though I was constantly frustrated uh, I was there you know so I got interrupted. I had to edit because when I'm interrupted, I have no clue what I was talking about. And now it's getting very close to the time for my sale, so I'm going to have to shut this down. I, you know, don't want to just fill time with videos like this, but this is what my life is right now, so this is what I'm recording. I'm very frustrated. I am constantly in agony. <laughs> I'm trying to do the things that I normally do, like continue to have sales and continue to cut fabric, and and then I also have to continue to declutter, which is, uh, you know, I'm back to a point where I, I can't possibly do all this because I know there are some things that I just don't know what I'm going to want to do with them, and I don't want to be lugging all kinds of things to Mississippi. I just, ah, uh, I'm in so much emotional pain and I just hate all of this. I hate it. And I know I have moments where I sound upbeat about it. You know, and there are moments where I'm upbeat about it, but for the most part, and I think the closer it gets to having to do the really hard work, uh, you know, I, I just feel like I could fall apart. I really do. And I do try to tell myself, you can change your mind if you want, but then it's like, I can't, I just can't, I can't stay here in this house that's going to fall apart, and I don't want winter, I don't want a shovel, I just, you know, I just want to be somewhere where I can hopefully do some stuff that I enjoy, and, you know, to see what it would be like to not have that kind of responsibility. But, anyway, I'm going to sign off now, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.